I'm Tony Northrup and I'm here with my co-photographer Chelsea Knowles. Today we're off to Essex, Connecticut where they have this antique steam train to demonstrate HDR photography for chapter 11 in my book, Stunning Digital Photography. If you don't know about it, HDR is a way of taking several different pictures of a single subject at different exposures and then blending them together. You don't need a DSLR to do HDR photography. Even some point and shoots allow you to control your exposure compensation and that's really all you need. So here at the train station, the first thing I'm going to do is just take a picture with my camera in fully automatic mode so I can check the histogram. Yeah, looking at the histogram, you can see it's shaped like a U. Parts of the picture are underexposed and parts of the picture are overexposed. Can't just use exposure compensation because something would still be under or overexposed. So what I'll do is I'll take my first shot in HDR. I'll turn on automatic bracketing, plus and minus two stops and then set my camera to aperture priority mode. Now I'll take three pictures handheld. Checking my histogram, I can see that the underexposed picture is still leaving the sky blown out and the overexposed picture isn't picking up all the shadow detail. So what I'll do next is I will put my camera on the tripod and manually take maybe the full seven exposures. So now what I'll do is I'll turn auto exposure bracketing back off because I'm going to control the exposure manually. Next I'll switch my camera to manual mode. Now I'm choosing my exposure settings so that my first exposure is at a full half second. At f8 and ISO 100 that should expose the train properly but the sky is going to be very very blown out. So I'll take my first picture and then I will decrease the shutter speed by half that will decrease the overall exposure. I'll take another picture, go one stop faster again. As I shoot, I check the histogram to see when the sky is properly exposed. Until it's properly exposed, I'll just keep decreasing the shutter speed and shooting again. That histogram looks good, and that final picture, the train is completely dark, but the sky is properly exposed. And with HDR software, I'll be able to blend those together properly. Back at my desk, I'll load the pictures into Photomatix Pro, my HDR software. As you can see, I have six pictures that I took that day, each at different exposures. The HDR software will blend them together into a single photo that will look better than any of the individual photos. You can see the default settings already make this look much better. Photomatix Pro provides several different presets that you can select just by clicking these icons at the bottom of the screen. You can also manually adjust the settings using a wide variety of different sliders that they have. When you're satisfied with the results, click Process. Here you'll see my final results after some additional editing. This was done for Chapter 11 of my book, Stunning Digital Photography, available now on Amazon for uh, $20 for the print book or $5 for the ebook. Uh, the ebook has many videos like this. If you like this video, you can click like down below or subscribe up above to see more.